3.1 Factors and Multiples of Whole Numbers Now, before we get too far into this, I want to make sure we understand what prime numbers are. Your textbook defines prime numbers as a whole number with exactly two factors, itself and one. So what it means in, in, in real life terms, you can only divide the numbers one and itself into it. You can't divide any other whole number into a prime number. Here's an example of some prime numbers. These are all the prime numbers from 1 to 1,000. Keep in mind that 1 is not a prime number, because to be a prime number, you have to be able to divide it by 1 and itself, not just 1. It never hurts to have this chart handy to go through as you're working on these questions, because it's nice to look back and see if a number is prime or whether you can break it down further. So when we define prime factorization, that's where we write down a number as a product of its prime factors. We'll go through a couple examples of that in a minute. Our next definition is composite number. A composite number has three or more factors, as opposed to a prime number, which only has the factors of one and itself. It's also important to note that a composite number can always be written as a product of its prime factors. And that's one of the things we'll be getting to here right away. Our first example is we're going to find the prime factors of a whole number. So we have the number 2,400, and what we're going to do is we're going to break it down into its prime factors. 2,400 is a composite number. Let's break that down. We're going to use what's called a factor tree. We're going to start with 2,400, and I'm going to break it down into what multiplies into 2,400. So when I look at it, I can say that is 24 times 100. Then I'm going to look at 24. Well, you know what? That is 2 times 12. When I look at that, 2 is a prime number. I'm going to circle that prime number. 12 is not a prime number yet because I can break that down into 2 times 6. 2 is a prime number, 6 is not. 6 is 2 times 3. Now we look at those bottom branches, 2 and 3 are both prime numbers, so I'm going to circle both of those. Let's go back to that 100. 100 is 2 times 50. 2 is a prime number. Don't forget to circle that, because sometimes it gets lost up there. 50 is 2 times 25, and 25 is 5 times 5. I've now just done my factor tree. I want to concentrate on these ones that are circled. Those are my prime factors. So I would rewrite that as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 twos. So I've got 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, so those are covered. Uh, I've got 1, 3, so I'm going to times that by 3. And then I've got 2 fives. Count your factors. I've got 8 factors in my tree. I've got 8 factors when I write them out. So I've got them all. A little comment on how I'm writing this. That dot halfway up between the number, that is multiplying. Is a lot faster than writing an X for multiplying the multiplying symbol every time. So it's a shortcut that mathematicians often use. But you have to be careful. Make sure it doesn't look like a decimal if you're using it as a multiplying symbol. So if you're neat, this works. There's another way we can write that prime factorization. We can use exponents and powers. So I've got five factors of two. So that'd be the same as two to the power of five. I've got one factor of three. So that's going to be three. And I got two factors of five. Both of those are correct ways to write it. And in fact, there's going to be some times when you're going to want it broken out into its factors, and other times it's more useful to leave it as powers. And just as a reminder, this is a composite number, and these are my prime factors. And the tool we used was a factor tree. Let's do one more. We're looking at the prime factorization of 2,646. We're going to break it down into its factor tree. If you're not sure what to divide it by, if it's an even number, I always like starting with a 2. So 2,646 is 2 times 1,323. Now keep in mind, there are multiple ways to do a factor tree. And whatever number you find that divides in, just run with it. Now 2 is a prime factor, so I'm going to circle that. 1,325 can be broken down into 3 and 441. You just have to keep trying numbers on your calculator until you find stuff that divides in. And let's keep on going. There, I've got all my prime factors. I've got no branches of the trees that don't end in a prime number. Let's write it out. I've got 1, 2, I've got 3 threes, and I've got 2 sevens. I could leave it like that. But there are times where it will also be more useful to write it as, well, 1, 2, and then 3 to the power of 3, because i got three threes, and 7 to the power of 2. Both of those are acceptable answers.